guys, what's up? Just wanted to do another show. Um, my name's Cameron Donahoe, and this is a show about how the news has affected me personally and my opinions on them. I want to hear your opinions too, so leave a message below if you have any opinions on the stories that I'm going to talk about today. So I was scanning YouTube earlier, and I um, I came across a couple of videos like. Ryan Dunn, for example, he recently passed away, and he's quite a big influence on people's lives, obviously, and you have to have an opinion on it, because he, even when he was alive in Jackass, people had different views upon him, and just what he was about, he was a Jackass member, so he was a distinct part of culture where he makes people laugh, so a comedian of such, but so he's left a big hole in people's lives now that he's passed away, but you have to feel when you start reading into it or viewing videos on YouTube like Sexy Phil and just other people, vloggers and that, talking about how he was drunk before he entered the car. Now I'm not sure if that's true or not yet, but it's still quite a big uh, it's just quite a bad thing to hear about someone that's passed away who's quite a big star and is always in people's eyes and minds and then when they pass away to hear a story about how he was drunk and had other people in the car with him driving at 110 miles per hour, you, you sort of, just, your mind starts to wander and contemplate against how, it, it's stupid, how people can be that stupid, but you know it's Ryan Dunn, you just, you feel for him, and I want to wish his family good luck, I want to hope that Bam Margera and the whole Jackass crew are doing okay because I, I saw his tweet about it and it's not very he was a bit aggressive towards someone that made a joke about the jackass crew but that's just the way it is in other news I am um, Roberto Carlos was in the news if you don't know him he's a Brazilian footballer and in this story I'm going to mention that he is black he is dark skinned and obviously I don't know how that's affected him before but recently he was playing football for his team and a stupid low life scumbag that calls himself a fan of football threw a banana at him which is a disgusting level of racism that you can throw upon a certain person to do that you either have to be so freaking stupid or just be that bad of a person <laughs> you just I don't know why people would do that it's really chaotic in this world at the moment it's, I don't know what to say about it it's when you go that far into racism to start going into football and it's not just Roberto Carlos it's all footballers of all genres and leagues and it's disgusting it's getting to a point now where these people need to be dealt with but life is life that's the way it is so what are your opinions on it leave a comment in the comment bit below if you I might put some links to the Roberto Carlos video if you haven't seen it already but see you next time this is Cameron Donahoe see ya